Resentment can lead to irreparable acts. Should go here. Revenge, Revenge could be a possible motive, but with one small reservation, it's we have reason to believe that the considered her murderer to be a typical client. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna keep revenge on no. Uh. Are we not supposed to put all these up here? Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't think so. Okay, I'll pull them back. <laughs> Let's pull them back. But uh, mutilations could be madness. True. Or true. revenge. Okay. Uh. Let's try madness, like you said. Love would be the one Homicidal Sherlock doesn't know. Insanity. Yeah. It is indubitable that the man who did this to Polly Nichols is not of his full senses. Okay, so we're good with that one. He likes that one. Yeah. We're gonna make that yes. Uh, so we, we do put resentment there, Revenge. and then we Revenge keep it at no. Yeah. Motive, but and yeah, you're right, love. Sherlock doesn't know about no love. Nope. No way, or no Or does how. he? <gasps> he loves Watson in his own way. No, I meant women's, woman's. He didn't even talk about it. He's like, I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, victim lived in misery would probably be theft. I mean, does do they have to match up? Hmm. Theft, perhaps. Let's I see. have a hard time believing that someone would attack poor Polly so fiercely. Well, that's why it's a no, though. A few so you got him. You're matching him right. Yay! I'm doing a good job. Black magic. <laughs> so the ones he didn't say anything about, though, maybe you need to switch those. So credible motive and that maybe you switch. Black magic. Black magic? I am not there we terribly go. interested in the occult or black magic. Let's give the benefit of the doubt to this motive. And then that one? A personal drama. Love can certainly lead to many a drama, but we have to consider the fact that the victim okay. didn't know her attacker. Hmm. I feel like I'm really solving a case. Is this it? Or did we do it? Well, you had to pick what could have possibly been the ones. Madness, we got. Love, maybe. There's only yes or no. And revenge. Yeah. I think those are the only ones No, that... love might be yes. Right? No. I mean, we know Jack the Ripper, guess, Ripper didn't, maybe. but this is possible. Okay. So since she lived in misery, theft is a no. And no, it's not really... Black magic is not really a credible motive. No. So, okay, so we're done? Well, we are still missing certain information in okay. order to finish this investigation once. Let's go sleuth more. Or is that... Or is that like saying you didn't do it right? Yeah, I don't know. Talk to him. What are we doing? Home? God damn it. <laughs> Useless! <laughs> Useless, Watson! Well. Um. No, I don't want to look at any of this. What do we do? Well, we know that those uh, are in the right things. Yeah. Well, in Madness and Revenge, I'm totally cool with. I guess put Black Magic as a, a yes for now. And then back out. Well. We are still missing no. certain information no. in order to finish this investigation, uh. Watson. Or is it just that this is done? I mean, do we just say yes, all of them are probable? No. Maybe turn off black magic and love and leave madness and revenge. Well, we are still oh, missing no. certain information in order to finish this investigation, Watson. Well, we gotta do or something. Just keep messing with them. Elementary. Oh, what? What? Very well. I just hit black magic, and he said elementary. The topic. The black magic was credible. Yeah. Later. I don't know why though. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. No reason for it. Ah. Now it's several days later. <laughs> you just, hey, Sherlock, you haven't moved. <laughs> You've been staring at that board for days. Look at all the bullet holes in one spot. Yes. I was about to just testing. In your oh, I see. Until you I thought it was like somebody shot I wonder if that's in a book, because he does that in the show. But and yeah. I didn't know if that was a show thing or if that was a thing they took from a book. I like that Watson just said, the investigation has advanced. That is the most rigid newspaper I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Didn't you know newspapers it's used like a to pizza be box. they used to be printed on literal sheets of wood. That man just had a spasm as he walked in. <laughs> That's Jack the Ripper. <laughs> we didn't invite you in here. Good day. Inspector Abilene. Inspector Dr. Watson. Hello, hello. What's all this then? Hello, hello. That's what he says. <laughs> and they're like, hello. I see, there's been another murder. <laughs> Very serious affair. Yes, we're quite aware of the murdered prostitute. Have you arrested someone? A certain leather apron? 
What's that? Absolutely hmm. not. What? Leather and apron? Is that like a person? Is indeed being actively searched for by no. the force. Yeah, the person, the man who hides behind this name is being actively searched for. Murderer. There. Leather oh, apron? Yeah. Are you sure that's what it said? Yes, that's the shittiest, like, Indeed. criminal name ever. He did yes. a Mad Lib and he ended up with his criminal name. Leather apron. He's a top crim, yeah? <laughs> that's my line! <laughs> that's my line! <laughs> that's what I say when I play Grand Theft Auto V. It's what he says when he wants to annoy the shit out of me is what I'm it is. A, I'm a top crim, yeah? God, why did Top I remind crim. you? You've forgotten it. It Crims. was gone from your brain. I did. I well, until I played Grand Auto again. Very well. To be frank, you take away. But yes, you're you're on the case of a top crim. Our image isn't very good. To say nothing. It's cause we're bad cops. We is. We are. <laughs> so how come he's wearing a hat inside, but Sherlock and Watson don't? Cause they're chillaxing. Was that an American thing to take off hats when you go inside? Maybe that's why. Such a scenario. Maybe it's just that they didn't want to. No, it's that the other guy was out. I mean, he was out and about wearing his hat. No, I know outside. I think it's kind of like shoes. Like you'd wear your shoes outside, but then once you get inside, you can take your shoes. Well, off in America, early American days, everyone wore a hat, but you took it off when you went inside. I hope he won't find the murderer, because this would be a boring game of Sherlock Holmes if he did. Well, we did play, like, an hour of boring Sherlock Holmes until we got to about ten minutes of cool Sherlock Holmes. That's true. And now there's probably going to be another hour. Gotta go get bread at the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take Watson to the gym because he's got a couple five pounds extra he's trying to get rid of. We gotta motivate him. And we gotta clean the seat with the, the little towel they give you. <laughs> he's still talking! Look how long he's gonna talk! I will give this, this game... This famous leather apron. I will give this game the award for longest subtitle. That's true. Uh, I control Dr. Time. Watson. Woo! Oh. Why'd you do that? I don't know. Okay, Leather Apron for more of six years confirmed to be a man that is undoubtedly mad. Okay. Come okay. face to face, his eyes are sh Okay, let's get out of that. No, play this game in the most boring possible way. I thought it was important to know about the It thing. is, and we know now. I read the whole thing. Did you not read the whole thing? No. Okay. Well, where do we go? Did you talk to Sherlock? No, I, I don't think I have to talk to Sherlock. What? I don't like this you. Still haven't left See? Watson? Fuck you. I was trying to figure out where to go. You gotta go to Whitechapel. I gotta go to Whitechapel, son. You know where in Whitechapel? Uh, is that the clinic? Well, I was gonna go to the scene of the crime, but I guess this whole thing is Whitechapel, isn't it? Yes. Or is Whitechapel the street? Whitechapel is the street. Well, I or went as close the to there as I could. <laughs> hmm. One of those. <laughs> Well, if I follow Holmes's instructions, then to begin yeah, it's police station. Into this but yeah, the whole district is white Oh. The police station. Okay, well then we'll go to the police station. A little whiny, a little whiny Watson. Oh, was that a voice in his head, or is he just saying that? Watson is the murderer, you see. Ooh, that'd be a good twist. Oh God, I hope that's not true. That'd be a good twist. Two cuts present on the private parts. Was that there before? What? On our note, when it was like loading, it said something about cuts on the private parts and missing fingers. You were here last week with on the private Sherlock parts. Holmes. On the lady bits. Ooh. Indeed. That would hurt. You don't on, even have on, lady bits. On the fanny, as they say. <laughs> but fanny's the butt. Not in Britain. What? Yeah. I don't like that at all. I know it's weird, right? Yes. Because the fanny is clearly the butt. Get with it, British people. I think they it probably started there, and, and probably someone was like, "Ha it means butt," and they're like, "Whatever." Whatever. What? Leather apron. You shouldn't ever. <laughs> the man is being hunted, okay. but we have yet to get our hands on him. He dresses his chair up like a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Charrington. <laughs> what do you think, Deputy Charrington? Uh -huh. I think you're quite uh -huh. mad, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Watson really needs some. Uh, Watson needs some powder on his trial. face. He's looking a little shiny in his T-zone. would have to confide in us and give a valid description of the man. Then we'd ask around the journeyman who use aprons, I imagine. Goodbye. Goodbye. A valid goodbye, sir. Very good. I must go to Finlay's boarding house. I shall, I shall. You remember where that is? Yeah. Good. Can't I fast travel to it, though? Yes. You know okay. where it is. Let's do that. I there it is. To Finley's boarding house. Isn't this it? Yes. Hello, hello. 
Painting your door red, I see. Oh, good evening, sir. Or he got blood on it and he's painting it red to cover it up and it's a genius. <sighs> Jack the Ripman. Jack the Ripper would wear a silly little knitted. Me, Finley. I was told that you were looking for us at the police station. <laughs> Indeed. I wanted to thank you for now. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. No, no, really, really. Thank you. Tenant, Martin Pacey's rent, I mean. He found a new tenant, he did, he did. <laughs> Pays with blood spout money every week, he does. <laughs> this man is very He goes out every strange. Come on, idiot. Days in a we call him John the Terror. Since then, he goes out every night. Ooh, Terror would be like tearing end to Terror. Oh, yes. Oh. You can go write your own story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And when he moved yes. In, <laughs> <laughs> you remember Shylock Fox? That was a comic that where it was yes. a fox that was Sherlock it's Holmes. It's Slylock, not Shylock. I thought it was Shylock. Slylock. The whole thing is he's sly. I thought he was a Shylock. Sly, like shy. a fox. I thought he was sly. Shylock. Sly. <laughs> like a gumshoe. I don't know. Anyway, that was cool. I, that used to be my favorite one because I always liked to solve them. I hated it. You showed me. <laughs> Why? You showed me one recently and I couldn't get it. And it <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> I can't remember. There, no. there was a cop. We had a copy of the paper for some reason, and you showed it to me, and you were like, figure it out, and then you wouldn't let me look at the answer, and I got really mad. <laughs> <laughs> I vaguely remember that. Hey, hey, hey! Let's not be racist. Let's not be anti anti Semitic. Your service, sir. I know, thank that's, you. That's funny. I have the wit of the Shylock. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. This odor is very strong indeed. Oh, what a British way to spell that. Oh, odor. Also, neighborhood. Finley might have an idea as to what this job is. I really wish I didn't stop talking while. What you mean, stop moving doctor. when you're talking? Yes. Strange smell! Oh, strange, I thought, <laughs> strange smell! I white for it, I did. <laughs> hey, I know I'm the detective, but can you tell me what the smell is? <laughs> <laughs> Watson's technically not a detective. What's he's, his trade? He's an assistant. What trade What's his trade? Your strange tenant. And oh, he's a butcher, sir. Oh, a doctor. Doctor Tumblety. Doctor Tumblety. That guy can't be a murderer. He's too Oi. silly. Oh, let's run him, Doctor Tumblety. To know more about him. Tubert Tumblety, at your service. <laughs> Thank you, Finley. I did. I did. Oh. A lot of British sayings in yeah. this one. I gotta find a lady now, don't I? Ladies, Watson's feeling randy. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we will can pick this up next time. Okay.